Hey, Katie. Hey, Morgan. All right. So it is Monday or no, not Monday. It's Friday now. It is Friday the 9th and I am finally back because for the past, I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been maybe f a month. For the last month, I've been doing lots of shows, about three weeks of shows, and I'm really sorry I haven't been po I haven't been posting, but those shows went great and they're finally done and it's March it's the beginning of March break and now I get to relax and actually make videos again, and I am so excited about that. And here's another thing, my sister not in the room this time. She's not going to interrupt me, which is great because she always does. She always makes me re-record, but not this time. Alright, so recently I have been learning Japanese, and because I kind of feel that I'm not very Japanese if I haven't learned it, like I, I don't know how to speak it, and at this point I only know how to do say simple phrases, like my name is Adam, and that is the sky, and what is your phone number, and things like that, and I also know how to say you're an idiot. And so far, I've really liked it, and it, the actual and the actual grammar makes a lot of sense. It actually makes a little bit more sense than English does for me, even though I am an English guy. But basically, one of the things I really love about languages is that if you know one of them, you know almost all of them, because all you need to really need to do is simply take the grammar that you already know from your first language and simply appropriate it for the second one. Because basically, I go through each one and I say, okay, well, if this is the word for is, which is the word, which is the verb to be, all I have to do is simply figure out where in the sentence that needs to be, and then I can simply understand that that word, instead of meaning is, just means to be. If you understand what I mean, it's like when you're learning a language, you shouldn't learn it like this word means this in my language you should actually learn as this word means this word you know it's kind of like describing an adjective it doesn't make much sense but you you can understand like if i said like blue i can't describe the color blue but you understand what it means but if i were to take a french term for blue meaning bleu B-L-E-U, that term, instead of being, that term means blue, which in then means this, I think you should actually take it as in the word bleu means this, versus having to have this intricate term of like just translating it in your head. You should actually learn it as you would learn a first language, which I think is really interesting and something that I was deprived of when I was learning French as a kid. And I've learned it for eight years. For eight years of my life, I learned it every single year, and I cannot speak a lick of French. And now, Japanese, which I have taken maybe two weeks to learn, but now that I finally understand and grasp the idea that languages take different, take the same sort of path, grammar-wise, I really understand that, and I really accept, and I really can comprehend just expansiveness of language, which I really wish I had actually been able to grasp as a kid. Because now I really, really want to learn French, and I want to be bilingual, but I'm not. And I really wish it was, because it is a very good skill to learn. And I'm thinking of going over it, so I'm really sorry, but I really have to talk about this. Okay, um, Coney, you guys should know what that means um I just before we go any further i am against it i am against the whole coney 2012 thing but don't condemn me for that please let me explain the reason i'm against it is i'm, I'm not against the idea that coney is a despicable man he is despicable and he needs to be stopped yes but the one thing that I have problem with is because I've been reading a lot of newspaper articles and a lot of like things that the National Post has put out about it and a lot of experts have been talking about this that the actual 
video that um, was put up on YouTube exaggerated the facts and took facts that aren't actually relevant anymore, if, if you know what I mean. Basically, all those facts that they kind of spewed out, lots of them, they're all true, yes. Except most of them, they they use, they kind of, they manipulated the facts to state their own needs. And the main problem, the, the just the one problem I have with it, is the fact that they're asking us to support the Ugandan government. And that's just did it for me. Because the Ugandan government has committed more atrocities than the Lord's Resistance Army has over the course of the LRA's entire period of existence. Because basically he's using, the, their video is, is it's focusing on the use of children as soldiers, yes? And they are used as soldiers, and those numbers are true, except you're forgetting about all the other terrorist groups and all the other things that are happening in Uganda. They're making it, they're portraying it as if it's just Kony in Uganda, except one of the main points of this is that Kony isn't even in Uganda. He hasn't been there for since I think two thousand six, and one of the, the one of the reasons that they're saying we need to raise awareness, which is a great thing. I'm not saying it's not, but awareness is great, except they're raising awareness for the government to send a military excursion into Uganda, which I completely entirely oppose because for one the the american government has already has already looked for coney and they have attacked his main base which wasn't in fact in uganda but in the democratic republic of the congo and that was in 2008 called operation lightning thunder and they've had an undisclosed amount of you uh, of american troops in uganda ever since helping the ugandan government get rid of all of these uh, terrorist groups such as Al Qaeda and the LRA, except the LRA, the height of their Reich, I suppose, would be the term, was over ten years ago. And the main thing is that the only problem I have with this is that they're asking either it's it's they're asking the government to send mili a military excursion into a country, and I completely oppose that. Not because I don't like war and things like I don't well. No, I don't like war, but what I'm saying is that it is it's it is a good thing. It will do some good, but I think it'll do a lot more. It'll, it'll, it'll kill a lot of people is really what I'm saying. It won't just be the terrorists that are dying. There will be tons and thousands of civilians caught in crossfire if you send thousands of, if you send troops in there. Because throughout the history of the United States, and this isn't, is, this is not a judgment, Many times, America has gone into places, like, gone into third world countries to try and help out of really good reasons, to stop terrorist plots, to, to really have to stabilize the government, but many, more times than not, the American military and the terrorist groups have killed more civilians than each other, and that's the one problem I have with them going in there, is that innocent people will end up dead because of it. And that's just one thing I can't stand. Like, that's that's the one thing I can't stand behind. And I support the, the campaign of awareness, yes. But I just don't want to see millions of people sending money to an organization that is petitioning a corrupt government to have more military, to have more soldiers there. I just, I, I don't want to do that. And that is it for my eight minutes of fun and then something really heavy and I just really needed to talk about that because it's been a massive thing on YouTube, it's been on Tumblr, it's been everywhere so I just really wanted to get that out and actually make my opinion heard that no I do not support the campaign but yes I do support what they're trying to do if that makes sense. So I will see you guys on Monday and Wednesday and DFTBA okay? Don't forget to be awesome.